When fans go to watch the Bulldogs play on a Friday night, they'll walk by this memorial. Most will enter the stadium without ever asking the question, who was Roger Kraft? October 1959, Elida was midway through their season, attempting to have back-to-back -back championship years for their Bulldogs, coached by Art Schreiber. One of his rising stars was a guard by the name of Roger Kraft. He excelled in academics so much that he was on track to graduate a year early. He was as smart as could be. I mean, it was just study, books, study, football. Roger was known for being one of those players who loved football and put everything he had into it. He was just football, 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 and if he got hurt, you know what? It didn't matter to him. He wanted to play. On October 16th, Elida was scheduled to play on the road at Pandora. He said, hey, sis, you going to come and watch me play ball? And I thought, right, who wants to come and watch you play ball? And we just laughed about it. In the third quarter, Elida was finally threatening the score. Kraft threw a block where the collision of the helmets could be heard in the stands. His helmet cracked from the force of the impact. He returned to the huddle and said, I really trapped that guy, but now I can see stars. Roger came back to the bench where his coach was waiting. He told Mr. Schreiber, he said, I'm good to go, you know, let's go. What Roger didn't know was the force of the impact triggered a cerebral hemorrhage in his brain due to a congenital condition which left him vulnerable to brain aneurysms. But much like sudden cardiac death, many of these problems, unfortunately, they go undetected. These people are asymptomatic until there's a catastrophic event. On the next series in the fourth quarter, Roger Kraft returned to the field and after a couple of plays, collapsed. A call went out over the PA for a doctor. Roger, who was barely conscious along with his mother, Mildred, were rushed to St. Rita's Hospital. But a train halted the ambulance and while waiting, Roger's mom knew the end was near. That was a portion of the Emmy Award winning documentary the story of Kraft Memorial Stadium in Elida, produced by Ondo Media. Ondo Media was the recipient of an Emmy at the recent 52nd Annual Ohio Valley Emmy Awards held in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. That was actually just one of two Emmy Awards won by Ondo Media. The other award was for John Ondo's music video of the song Inspire Me by Cedric Easton. Ondo Media is headquartered in the Columbus area, but the founder, John Ondo, is an Elida graduate, started his career right here at TV44. As he continues to expand his production business, he has never forgotten his roots. The story of the Kraft Memorial Stadium adds to a growing list of documentaries Ondo has produced commemorating this region, including the 2014 Emmy Award winning Echoes of Gomer School and his first school documentary, Memories of Elida. Ondo Media has also released a school documentary focusing on the Bakken School District, and it's currently in production on another documentary focusing on Jackson Center. Now, Ondo Media has also been responsible for many past productions seen right here on TV44. Once again, our congratulations to John Ondo and Ondo Media for receiving two Emmy Awards at this year's Ohio Valley Emmy Awards celebration.